Welcome to Stonewatch, and this is my spoiler discussion for WandaVision Episode 7, Breaking the Fourth Wall. Oh man, just when you thought that they couldn't ramp up this show anymore, showrunner Jack Schaefer and director Max Shackman say, hold my beer. I mean, this episode was just... I mean, the amount that they actually squeeze into 30 minutes for every single week for these episodes is just totally amazing. And it just blows me away. Cameron Squires comes in to write this episode this week. And again, we get another episode with a runtime of 38 minutes. Now, I didn't really see anything extra in the recap this week. Let me know in the comments down below if you did. Modern Family is the sitcom that we get this week. Now, I have to admit, I probably only watched maybe a handful of episodes of that show. I mean, they were good, the ones I did see. Now, with only two episodes left of WandaVision, it kind of makes you wonder if this is going to be the last version of a sitcom that we're going to get, especially how this episode ends. And how about that ending? I mean, Agnes just comes right out and says, I'm Agnes the Harkness. And then, you know, she has her own theme music and it kind of looks like she's like taking over the show now. From my understanding, that's how I understand it, or she was like saying that she's been in control this whole entire time, just pulling the strings in the background. I mean, they've been dropping hints about this since this series started. I mean, I didn't know, I mean, I don't know that much about the character to be quite honest with you, except for what I've read researching for these review videos. Other than that, I don't really know anything about this character. So I can't wait to see where we go with this now. I mean, she pretty much confessed everything. So obviously that is not, the Quicksilver from the Fox franchise, because she said, you know, she pretty much they show that she's the one who actually put him there. Why she picked that guy and not the actual face that went with the person, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out more about that one next week, but that was just totally wild, man. And like I said, she pretty much confessed to everything. I mean, where are the kids? What'd she do with the kids? And she confessed she's the one who killed the dog. Now, why did she have to kill the dog? Again, like I said beforehand, that kind of bothers me. And the more and more I think about it, it really gets to me. And now she confessed. So I got, you're going down, Agatha. I mean, come on. It's just that, nah, that's not cool. Dude, when I was watching this episode for the first time, I almost fell out of my chair when we caught up with Darcy and we found out that she was the escape artist for the circus and she made the joke about how she wanted to be the bearded lady. When she said that, I almost like fell out of my chair. I'm like, oh my God, she used my joke. I mean, that was like, that was hilarious, man. Nexus Anti-Depression Pills is the commercial that we get this week. Now, right offhand, I can't really say what the, the deeper meaning is to this without doing some more deeper digging. So I'll have to get back to you on that one. We catch up with Hayward and crew, and they are now eight miles outside of Westview and getting ready to launch their attack on the town. Monica comes in contact with her engineering buddy, and it's Major Goodner. That's it. I mean, after two weeks of speculation, people are saying, it's Reed Richards, it's Rocket the Raccoon, could it be Professor Hulk, and it's Major Goodner? That's it? Is that who we've been talking about for the last few weeks, is Major Goodner? That's it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The vehicle that she actually provides does look kind of cool, but it doesn't actually do the trick. I mean, Monica is all suited up like she's getting ready to go land on the moon. And then like, yeah, she's just going to slice right through in there. And it was kind of like, that's it. It's like, it's like belly flopping in a pool. That's kind of what it looked like to me. You know what I mean? And after the vehicle kind of belly flopped into the hex and it's just sitting there and she's trying to force it in there. And then like the hex tries to reprogram it and she has like to narrowly escape out of the vehicle, but only and they change half of it into a minivan. That was kind of funny. But she decides that she's just going to run straight into it anyway. Now, it was kind of hinted at last week that they had some kind of medical record saying that the hex was changing her on like a cellular level, like just changing her like... Some people were like kind of hinting at that maybe she was kind of like getting like cancer or something like that. But then there was also people like maybe this is where she gets her superpowers. Now, in the comics, Monica was a lieutenant in the New Orleans Harbor Patrol. Fate came upon her one day when she gained superpowers after being bombarded by extra dimensional energy produced by an energy disruptor weapon created by a criminal scientist. Now, they seem like that this is what the... They are hinting at the, how she gets her powers now. But then her uh, halfway through the hex and she's like all split it into different kind of personalities and what have you. Her eyes like glow blue and she just punches through. And then when she confronts Wanda in the front yard and everything and Wanda tries to throw her and she just superhero like landing. real. You know what I mean? So they're really stri put stressing that this is where she gets her powers. Now they don't really say like, what name she's going by just quite yet, but she's definitely got some kind of powers going on 
for sure. I mean, that was just, that was insane. After Vision frees Darcy from the control of the Hex, they head back towards his house. And in route, she tells him everything. The events of Infinity War, Endgame, everything. So he now knows that he's died twice and every, and all everything else. And he's just kind of not wa- wondering more what to do now than he was before. Because he didn't remember all this stuff. And he's kind of wondering, well, how come I don't remember this stuff now? And then he's like doing that fourth wall, like interview like type thing is why am i talking to you i go find my wife and then he ends up popping through the top of the truck there he's like i'll meet you there that was kind of funny so i don't know man we're now down to our final two episodes wanda is stuck in the basement with agnes and vision is on his way home can he get there in time i kind of hope so let me always think about that in the comments down below and what about the kids where are the kids are they hopefully they're okay and what happened to pietro is he gone because wanda did blast him in the last episode we haven't seen him since he's kind of m.i.a so is that the last time we're gonna see of him I don't know. Let me just think about that in the comments down below. And with Monica now having superpowers and she's actually closer to the house than Vision is, will she step in and help Wanda? Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I mean, this thing is getting crazier and crazier. And what the hell is Hayward and crew up to? So, I don't know. Let me just think in the comments down below.